See that boy? <laughs> Got a pretty nice relaxing video today. We're gonna head to a really nice spot that I know of. We're gonna set up a hammock and we're just gonna camp. Maybe catch some fish. Just hang out and just have a good time. This is one of my favorite places just to come walking. It's got a really nice camp spot that's pretty secluded. Hopefully we can get to it. There might be some challenges, but it should be a lot of fun. So let's have fun. All right, I believe it is this way down the path less traveled. Whoa. It is a hot day today. Chipmunks over there. We made it to the river or the stream. We got to get over there. I know a place down here that we should be able to cross. The fallen trees. We'll definitely go check out the rest of the place once we get comfortable. I always like this part of the trail. I'm like on the top of a hill. And there's just like a little path. I don't know if it was made by animals or people. Probably both. Ugh. Step, step, step. Wah. Looks like we have a bit of a setback. This used to be a bridge of sticks and trees and such. There's no way I can get across there without falling in. This is a bit of a bummer. We're gonna have to find another way to cross. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is this possibly the only way to cross. This looks like <laughs> this is better. All right, I found a helping stick. Let's see if we can cross this. I'm gonna bring uh, my fishing pole just so I have less things next trip. If I can, oh my. Oh gosh. question is are any of these logs oh and this is deeper than I thought are any of these logs gonna break when I'm standing on them all right let's uh, gently go all right oh. I can toss my fishing pole Where are you? yes it didn't fling into the water all right over Okay. Baba boom. All right, we made it. Time to take off my backpack and do it again. It's a really beautiful day though.
Okay, we're back. Now we gotta go back. <laughs> Can't forget the camera. Now, now we gotta go find the spot. It's a lot thicker over here, and the trail is more a suggestion. <laughs> I know people have used this spot in the past. I know I have. So hopefully, it's in good condition. It's pretty over here. Lots of spider webs for sure. Oh, a little bit. Muddy. Oh, how the heck? I gotta take another way. Ah, oh, in the face. There we go. You avoided the pool of mud. Starting to get real pretty. We made it. Well, I arrived at the camp spot. If you can tell, people have been here before. And uh, looks like they didn't really clean up after themselves, but it looks like they haven't been here for a long time. <sighs> well, I'm here. I'm hot. The first thing, have a sip of water. Oh, yeah. Ah, so good. All right, let's, uh, let's clean up this place. Get it looking nicer. Uh, there we go. Search around, clean this place up. This is already a lot more I have to carry back over that stream. Oh well. I might actually try to have a fire tonight. It might be nice. Definitely don't want to walk around barefoot here in case there's glass anywhere. Let's check this place out a little bit. So down here, I thought maybe I could do some fishing. It might be a little tough with all these branches everywhere, but I have a very small little rod. The water level is actually pretty high right now because it's been raining pretty hard. I have seen some big fish splashes throughout here, so hopefully we catch something good. If you can see way over there, there's like an old storm drain that kids have painted. But yeah, some beautiful water here, very calm, and I'm sure at night it'll probably be full of loud frogs. We'll see how that is. And over here, there used to be a bridge or a stick bridge going all the way over to that little island. And it looks like there's a bunch of holes here. What are these holes? Oh, wow. It looks like uh, a bunch of egg casings. I think this used to be a turtle nest. Look at that. Wow, I think there was a lot of baby turtles that just hatched here. Definitely this season. Definitely. There's just casings everywhere. All these holes, they must have dug themselves out and just shimmied their little cute turtles into the nice little water right there. We uh, so probably see some turtles tonight. It'd be cool if we saw the big mama turtle come back up here. You hear that guy, right? <laughs> big old frog look at that egg it's like a ping pong ball they literally look like ping pong balls 
And this spot right here, I always remember this. Looks like someone used to dug out a shallow grave. Or it looks like someone had a fire in there. But yeah, this is where I'm going to be calling home for the next day. I'm sleeping in a hammock tonight. So this is everything that I brought today. Got my backpacks, got my hammock, my sleeping bag, a little inflatable pillow, my little fishing rod, some rope, a bunch of lights and lanterns. For food today, I thought it'd be kind of fun to grab some MREs. They're like what the army eats. So I grabbed two of those. We're gonna have those for dinner and uh, like breakfast tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how everything goes, but I got two of them between uh, today and tomorrow. And also got some other snacks. I got some bug spray and, and stuff like that. I have two little bundles of sage, or they're pretty big bundles. I'm gonna throw them on the fire tonight, hopefully keep away some mosquitoes. Got a little hatchet, a little wood saw, got my camera stuff, some more camera stuff, big old thing of water, and then the garbage. And that's everything I brought today. And have some fun on this beautiful warm day. This is my sleeping bag. Pretty much packs down to nothing. I brought it for cushion it sleeping, and it might get down to around 50 or something like that tonight, even though it's super hot right now. I think it's really cool. Definitely like 10 times smaller than my other sleeping bag. Perfect. Look at this. What a lovely setup. Did I just zip it? No, I did. Also got this, a little inflatable pillow for comfort. That's it. This is how I'm gonna be lounging tonight. This feels way more comfortable when I set it up like this. And even if it gets a little windy, I'll be fine. And look, bugs can't come in when I zip it. I'll zip it tonight.
time to try to go fishing. I got my tiny little fishing pole and rod, and I made up a little tiny tackle box right here. Inside of it, I got a couple bobbers, some little worms, a little like spoon looking thing, uh, some little hooks, some connectors, some weights, and some other little lures as well. Pretty much this is the only stuff I could fit inside of here. So hopefully we can catch something and not lose too many things in the thick lily pads over there. I feel like there's gotta be a lot of fish here. I just feel like I'm gonna lose this worm. And one way to find out. Oh man, how do I even cast this over here? Bad. Oh, I think I caught one. Did you look at that? <laughs> Boom. All right, let's clean this guy off. I'm not going to eat him. Let me just like get this out of here. Oh, did he get it good? He might have got it good in there. All right, you always got to be careful with these guys because they got spikes on their back. You can see him, he's kind of flexing them. So you got to hold them down. Let's see if I can get this out easy. Look at that. Cool. Caught one. Whoa, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. And he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Well, we know that there's fish in here. First cast in this spot. <laughs> it's pretty good. I thought I was going to get caught on some vines. Oh, man, there's a big fish right there. Oh, yeah. See that, boy? That's a fish. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him. Hey buddy, you're gonna have to chill until I get you, get you all out of here. Hey, I know, I know. There we go. Look at this guy. That's a big boy. <laughs> big bass. All right, back in you go. Big bass. go look at him swim away uh. it's time to go exploring a little bit Good. We're heading back across the stream or the river, whatever you want to call it. Probably a stream. Ah, I saw something wiggle wiggle over there, ducked underwater. Maybe a fish, probably a fish. And we're just gonna enjoy some of my favorite places at this location. The stick of helping will stay there. Under the trees. This is always a pretty cool little overpass. Or underpass. Yeah. Success. <laughs> it's so pretty here. I remember coming to this part last year and seeing like wild berries everywhere. It doesn't look like they're quite ready yet. But soon this whole place, like most of these plants that are tall are like wild berries that you can actually eat. See, look, you can see them all budding. There'll be a lot of them, but you gotta get them quick otherwise the deer will get them. Oh, 
always like the kind of low plants here. It's like a carpet. This is it. The lone chair. Ah. I've definitely sat here and had stare downs with deers for like 10 minutes. On to another beautiful spot. This plant right here is called milkweed. It's because it looks like it has milk inside of it. Look at this guy. I've seen giant carp swim through here even though it's so shallow. It's just so calm and the water's so clear here. Sometimes on a hot summer day, I'll literally just lay down in there. <laughs> Got one more spot I want to share with y'all. Let's head there now, then we'll head back to camp and have some dinner. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. It's beautiful. It gets pretty muddy right up here. Oh, someone built up the bridge. Nice. I don't think this connects to where I'm staying though. 
We might as well cross it. Okay. It's pretty shallow here, so if I take a dive, holy moly, this log moves. If I take a dive, it's not that big a deal. Holy shit. <laughs> now always remember this part, you gotta jump on the logs that are here. Head on back. I used to come on this bridge a lot. It used to be made of uh, plywood. It used to be pretty nice. It was the nicest one here. Then it got completely degraded and now it's just a pile of sticks. But it works. Beautiful. It's such a beautiful place here. I love it. Well, it's time to head back to camp. We're gonna head back. We're gonna cross the river again. I'm gonna go back to the hammock. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. Then I'm gonna eat an MRE for dinner and relax, probably start a fire. Let's have a wonderful night. Oh look, there's two of them. Hey turkeys. And there's a baby one. Bye. We're heading back. We're kind of close now. Okay. We're off. Got a stick in one hand, a tripod in the other, and a camera strapped to my chest. Sounds like perfect. All right. Good job, stick. I love you. got dinner. It's officially dinner time. I got two choices today. I got a cheese tortellini tomato sauce and I got a tuna chunk light water packed lemon pepper. I'm gonna go with the tortellini one because I love me some pasta. Alright, let's see what we got. This is like how you cook it in or the, the holder for it. Hot beverage bag. Oh wow, is there like some tea in this one? And then it's got a self-heating bag. Comes with a spoon, which is nice because I actually didn't bring any. <laughs> uh, this is like a lemon lime powder, probably like Gatorade or something like that. Recovery trail mix with pretzels, that sounds amazing. Chocolate peanut spread. And then we got a little thing of like, oh man, a little thing of Tabasco. Oh, this one's gonna be good. Peanuts dry roasted salted. You got a crackers. And then this mystery bag, cheese tort in tomato sauce. I like how it comes with just like little gum. I'll put it in the turtle hole or whatever that is. A little Tabasco, that's so cute. Creamer, freeze dried coffee, sweetener, a little moist towelette to clean yourself, some iodized salt and a little napkin. So this is gonna be our coffee. The ready to eat heater. Rip the top off. 
the pasta. I literally think I'm putting my food in a turtle hole. <laughs> An ex turtle hole. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's go on now. It is in there. There we go. And it's already starting to get hot. just gonna cook right there and in the meantime it's like pretzel balls definitely saw some fish I'll give them a couple pieces very dry Whoa, it's a muskrat. That was crazy. Looks like we got some uh, Gatorade powder. Smells like lemon lime. It says you pour water in here, then you roll it up and hold it tight and shake it. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Real thing is, how do you drink it from here? I guess carefully. <sighs> wow, that's really good. You can see the color of it. Very yellow. That was actually really good. Very refreshing. All right, it is definitely warm. Question is, is it done? I'm gonna just say yeah. The water's like <laughs> lukewarm. I'm gonna leave the pasta in there a little bit longer. I feel like maybe I did that wrong, the coffee or something. I don't really know. Definitely smells like coffee. Garbage. And then let's put in this creamer stuff. Definitely looks like coffee. It's warm, but no means hot. Let's try some. The electrolyte powder was like 10 times better. It's definitely coffee though. And I like how this bag has a zip. So I can like have some later tonight or something around the fire if I want. All right, I'm done waiting. Feels hot, like real hot. Got a spoon. The big reveal. This looks like something I've made before. Not bad. It tastes pretty good. Now let's throw some hot sauce on it just because it came with it. The tiniest little hot sauce. It takes away the taste of the sauce and just tastes like hot sauce. Not bad. And then for dessert, we got the crackers and uh, the chocolate spread. And then the cracker. Just like saltines. Oh, it's like a big one. Oh, <laughs> it's hot today. Kind of goopy. Let's just try it. 
It's like dry cracker with a little bit of chocolate and peanut butter. Oh gosh. Just finished with the fire pit. I ended up digging a nice little hole for it and I made a little air intake on the side there. Just filled it up with a bunch of little sticks. There's a bundle of sage in there and some of the paper from my MRE to help start it. And yeah, it's just gonna be a nice little fire tonight. Nothing huge, nothing crazy. But now, let's just enjoy the sunset. I got these matches here and also brought a barbecue lighter, but I want to try these matches. I've had these for so long and they're they're probably like 10 years old or something like that, but they should work still. They're crazy like matches. Pretty much the whole thing is like match head. <laughs> You'll see when I light it what I mean. But these things are wild. They're supposed to be waterproof, windproof, stormproof. Looks like we might have some ignition. hanging out by the fire. It's been a wonderful day today. Got camp all set up, got my hammock ready for the night. I set it up with so much rope, it's actually really nice this time. And I should be getting some good sleep tonight. Uh, no roof or anything like that. It's just gonna be a night underneath the stars. Not supposed to rain or anything. Maybe just a little bit windy, but nothing crazy. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be around 50 or 60 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. So nothing bad at all. And I uh, had a wonderful meal. The MRE was pretty good, honestly. And they're pretty fun for like camping, honestly. Just like a nice little package you can bring with just a whole bunch of goodies inside of it. And yeah, I went fishing today, caught two nice fish, caught a really big bass, which was cool. Caught them back to back, which is pretty awesome. And I showed, showed you some of my favorite places here and just a lovely day. Got some beautiful scenery, caught some cool bugs on camera. And overall, I'm just super happy, relaxing, getting ready for the sun to go down and then getting some sleep soon. Cause I'm honestly, I'm tired. It was a hot day today and I walked around all day today. 
Uh, I didn't build any crazy shelter this time. This is just a relaxing video to just enjoy, settle down, and just kind of have a beautiful summer night. It's officially nighttime. Let's go on a little night stroll. I've been noticing there's a lot of glow bugs out. I set up a little motion sensing light. I might just turn it off just because this bush is setting it off every two seconds. Let's go down here where I was fishing earlier. Let's see if we see what's going on here. Lots of bugs are starting to come out. There's really not as many frog noises as I thought there was going to be. Whoa. You see that? That's a huge turtle. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. See his head? Look how big he is. And he just disappeared. It's kind of hard to catch that on camera, but he was a big turtle, maybe a foot across. Big old snapping turtle. It's crazy, they just like live underwater. <laughs> Not gonna go too far. You definitely see glow bugs every once in a while. Not gonna lie. I do smell a little bit of skunks. <laughs> I do not want to get sprayed by a skunk. Something ducked, ducked under there. It was cool to see that big turtle. All right, let's head on back. It is thick back here. Let's put some wood on the fire. You can see this, but in my hand, I have a little glow bug. Oop, and he's gone. It's the end of the night. I'm just relaxing in the hammock. I still got my boots on because I'm still tending to the fire a little bit longer. But soon I'll be going to sleep. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful night. Lovely weather, it's a lot calmer than it was earlier with the wind and I'm just enjoying the fire. There's really not many frogs, the bugs aren't so bad, it's just a lovely night. The stars are starting to poke out a bit, hopefully they really start showing. Oh, I'm starting to see them. But yeah, it's just a lovely night and I'm about to get some good sleep. So, sleep well everyone, I'll see you all in the morning.
<laughs> Good morning. The birds woke me up and the sun's poking out. And it actually got pretty cold. I'm kind of cold right now. Oh, but it's time to get up in a minute. It's cold. I can see my breath a little. I came over to the fire and I stirred it up and there were some embers. So I'm throwing on some bark I found and uh, let's get a nice little fire going. There we go. I had to blow on it for a little while, but started up. Now I can warm up a little bit. Time for breakfast. I am hungry. Let's see what we got here. Tuna chunk light water packed. I am having dinner for breakfast today, but guess what, it's all right. I'll have breakfast for dinner tonight to make up for this. All righty, looks like we got some stuff right here. Got some marble pound cake. Oh, that sounds delicious. The little heating bag. Ooh, Reese's Pieces. Did they melt? I don't think so. Got some sort of baked snack crackers, tortillas. Got mayonnaise, a cheese spread, beverage base powder, lemon lime, and then uh, a tuna. Wow, this is like a, a brand. Okay. Got a little firewood. All right. See what we got going on. The moist towelette, some salt, another beverage base. So this one has two kind of fruit drinks, gum and a little towel. In the bag. And we fill it with some water. Oh, look at the water bottle squish because it got so cold. That's it. The lemon lime powder is probably similar. It were probably the exact same from the one I had uh, yesterday. That's it. Got ourselves some breakfast juice. Let's try this juice. It's good. It probably tastes like what you think if you've had Gatorades and such. And in the meantime, let's have ourselves some breakfast cake. It's like a squished muffin. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Very sweet. Perfect for breakfast. Just like a little treat. That's actually really good. Tasty. Baked snack crackers, cheddar cheese, literally cheese it's. <laughs> Grab some more firewood. I'm ready. He's warm. I'm going to use this as a table. Here we go. Got like two tortillas and a desiccant packet. There we go. 
There we go. That's tuna. All right, get this on here. A tuna, tuna taco. I really do like fish tacos. And I'm gonna throw this cheese spread on here because I don't know what else to put on it. <laughs> Looks like cheese whiz. <laughs> That's probably what it tastes like. This one should have come with the hot sauce instead of the pasta. All right, this looks interesting. If you like tuna, you'll like this. I'm not sure if I tasted the cheese. <laughs> Mostly tasted the lemon from the tuna. One more tortilla and the rest of the tuna. Is that dirt? Probably. A little taco. Oh, it's got lemon liquid. I tasted the cheese there. It's like cheese whiz. Man, this is so drippy. I think the pound cake was my favorite. Oh man, this is like tuna juice. <laughs> Reese's Pieces, it always makes you think of E.T. I'm gonna hang out by the fire a little bit, then I'm gonna clean up, and I'm gonna head on out of here. But it was a really nice breakfast. Well, it's time to start packing up. I do like this sleeping bag. This is the first time I used it, but it's definitely meant for warmer nights. It actually got colder than I realized tonight. And I was kind of wishing I had something else. But I do like how you put this one away. You just kind of shove it in. <laughs> There we go. And you tighten these down. And you turn it into just a little tiny burrito. And I got the pillow. Boom, boom. Little tiny pillow. All right. Let's start to take this stuff down with the handy dandy hatchet. And no one would ever know.